on the previous episode. Show me... Show me faith. Through powerful magic her whereabouts concealed. Unfortunately for you, these lips are sealed. What? These lips are sealed. It's not my choice of phrasing, Billy. It's simply the way this has to be. Wow. Even in death. And so, it continues. Oh boy. They really amped this decision up. Go! Toad sounds like he needs help right now. We can check in on Prince Lawrence after. Okay. I'm not looking forward to breaking the news to him anyway. Um, he's dead so he won't have to. And I don't, don't, I don't think uh, the knife's gonna be there when we come back. Or anything of that matter. And we ended up going out the window, and I landed on Toad's car. You guys made a real mess. Yeah. It looks worse than the day. You couldn't take a taxi over there? That would've been faster. Is somebody up there? Hey! Wait here. I saw him! I know what he looks like! Probably shouldn't have said anything. That was my bad. I'm sorry! That's enough, alright? Just shut it! <laughs> sorry. First exam. I know. I'm sorry. I, this sucks. Fixed. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm gonna freaking. Colin doesn't make this much of a mess. I gotta. I gotta examine everything. I'm sorry. My job goes first. I feel like a dick. Okay. Come on. Come on. Walk out. His son? Toads? I think. Be nice in there, okay? No, I'm just gonna go be a be a complete dick. Hey Toad, you in there? <laughs> Big B and Miss White! <laughs> Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. Sorry, Big V. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh, I thought there was someone else in Woody's place. There wasn't, though. Uh, not when I checked. Nothing but a leaky drain pipe. Imagination must have got the best of me. So, you know, false alarm. Sorry for dragging Miss White into this. What's going on? What do you mean? Nothing's going on, Big B. I don't know what you mean. True. Don't lie to me. False alarm is all. Sorry. Are you alright? He's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Better swimmer than Walker, just like his dad. Wanna. So, I guess you'll be taking off now. No need to hang around here anymore. I mean, I'm sorry you came all the way here for nothing, but it was nothing, really. I'll leave when I'm ready, Toad. I just want to check things out first. The longer you talk, the longer this takes, so just stand over there and shut all up. All right, all right. I just don't want to waste your time, is all. Uh, have a seat. Have a cup of tea. Whatever you like. Toad, you better Oof. not be doing anything. Grown-ups, am I right? Uh... Hey, you know what? Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome insect collection. I'd really love to see it. Is it in your room? 
It has a weevil. Cool. <laughs> it's a cute little guy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so friggin' cute. Just mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing. Yeah, sure thing. Toad, stop being a dick to your son, man. Seriously. There's ever a time in the game where I can punch you in the face, I might have to do How'd it. This happen. Fucking hell. Damn thing must have fell off the table. Uh huh. Don't lie to me, Toad. Fell off the table. All well, the boy was faffing about, playing salts and saltfish. Who knows with the lad? Right. Bleeding? Why? You say it's blood. Still fresh. Oh, well, I cut me end. <laughs> Ran around like a tit trying to pick out a wrap. Must have got some on the furnishments. Lamp in pieces, blood on the wall. It's awful, I know. Sounds painful. Oi! Don't you go mother ending now. The wound didn't sit very long, you know. Perks of being a fable, I suppose. <laughs> and a frog. Oh, you are a freaking liar, and you're not even good at it. You've been bashing on your freaking kid, haven't you? Freaking dick. I think I felt sorry for you. Has someone been... What? more blood over here on the poker yeah what happened oh well that's that's how it happened didn't it i was i was poking the coals and it slipped a bit sliced up in my foot like a seashell but like a shit ugly thing if you're gonna say something out with it wait you dropped it on your foot you told me before that you cut your hand yeah no i, I did cut my hand I cut my hand first, and that made me drop the damn thing on my foot. <laughs> a ruinous flip of events, really. You are a terrible liar. Oh my god, will you not make a big faff out of this? There's nothing to solve here, Sheriff. I'm telling you everything that happened. Why don't you believe me? I mean, things happen, you know. I think maybe you're hiding something. Hiding something? Maybe. But, uh, to tell you the truth, I don't know yet. But I know you're lying about something. But I'm not- and you're just gonna make it worse for yourself the longer you keep up the act. I'm not bullshitting you. Honest. Well, see. Here you are. Toad, stop lying to me, man. Either you're bashing on your kid or you're not. Freaking make up my mind, dude. Gosh dang. That more blood? No. Just a clean space in the dust. Did you move something? Ah, uh, maybe one of Junior's toys or something? I mean, who knows? Nope, that was the lamp. Bloody hell, Bigby. What sinister bit have you uncovered this time? I left the tap water running? Didn't stop the recycling? What's the point of all this, mate? Really? That broken lamp used to be here, right? Just tell me what happened. Nothing happened, mate. Nothing! And why did the lamp have to be there, of all the blooming pointless inquiries? It's my own place. Don't you think I know what happens in it? Because the lamp was always over here, Toad. It was over here, and now it's there. The space in the dust is from where you well, moved I it. did some refiguring. Who fucking cares? Bloody hell, mate. Come on, get off with this. Also, the power outlet. I should have said that, because that would have been better, because then he couldn't lie, because he couldn't put the lamp over there, because there's no spaces in the power outlet for him to use the lamp. There's 
some marks here on the windowsill. But like I said, Junior leaves his toys around all the time. These don't window. look like they're from a toy. Oh, well, just last night when I'd come out, I was in a, a downright dizzy, mate, as you would be. And <laughs> I plum forgot the keys to this place. And I had to climb in through the bloody window. Really? Scared Junior off to death. You are a, such a big liar, Toad. It's not even funny anymore, man. Dude. Good lord, stop lying to me, man. Alright. I am fully investigated that location. Let's go see what Junior's doing. Wait, 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 no, wait. Oh. Though most people think they are. Uh huh. How's it going? Toad's hiding something, but I don't know what yet. Did the kid say anything? No, nothing really. He was really upset, though, earlier. He won't say why. Hmm. Something's going on. Stay with the kid until I figure out what. Alright. Let's talk to him. Place needs a bit of dusting, I suppose. I know you're lying about the lamp. The lamp fell is all. I bumped it. Coming coming in from the, the, the thing. The lamp could not possibly have fallen, Toad. You had it plugged in over here the whole time. Someone ripped the lamp out of the wall and threw the thing. That's what happened, isn't it? Toad. Just make it easier on yourself and tell me what is happening here. Because right now I'm making assumptions. And I'm thinking a lot worse than maybe I should be thinking. So you better write the ship, dude. Write the freaking ship. Look, you want me out of here, I want out of here. Just come clean. What's going on? Place needs a little brooming, that's all. <sighs> I'm gonna regret this, aren't I? Yes, I am going to regret this. What is it? I know something's off here, Toad. And I know you know I can't leave until I find out why. So can we please just skip to the end of the page before I have to get mean? I don't know what you want, Big B. There's nothing going on. There's just... There's just nothing to tell. Look around the room and see for yourself. Everything has its explanation, you'll see. Honestly, Toad, I don't know if I will. And I don't know if I've got the patience to reverse engineer whatever scheme this is. Big boy's in the other room, Big B. Come on, now. We're friends, right? I mean, I called you here. Oh, Jesus! You're gonna tell me, right now, what the fuck happened before we showed up? Big B, I... It even has the faintest whiff of bullshit. I'm gonna... Dad! Dang it! Big B, is this really necessary? Oh. <sighs> what is it? Is it hurt? Maybe, uh... Maybe it's... It got away from me a bit. Dad! Oh my god. I didn't Take do that. Off your hat. Bigby, you didn't. He didn't. <gasps> it was that butcher, a, a Tweedle, Dame D. You gotta strip them down to their Johnnies before you can tell which is which. They come bulging in, screaming about something the woodsman had. Or thought he had, I don't know. He tore up the place, beat me up when I said I didn't have it. I tried to go out the window, but he pulled me back in. <sighs> it's been a hard morning, I can tell you that. Do you know what he was looking for? I have no idea. I would have told you. I wanted to, really, I did. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. 
I even tried to give the bastard a coat. He wouldn't take it. Whose coat? The girl. Dad borrows things from people who live here. Uh, sometimes? Borrows? I don't steal nothing. Turn around here would astonish you, mate. We'll merely repossess what's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. All right. Fetch him the fur. TJ's Five new Clementine. TJ, <laughs> <laughs> uh. such a cute little guy. Oh my goodness. Whoa. Now I wouldn't wear it outside. Wait. Letter. It's an envelope. Fucking hell, of course there is. For my luck, it's a map to some bloody doubloons. It's addressed to Prince Lawrence. Do you want to try and give it to him, or...? It's evidence, get open. I'm sorry. Faith. What could she have been sorry for? I don't know. Maybe Lawrence does. Well, it's been quite a surprising day for all of us, hasn't it? I'd see you out, but I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place. Sorry, Toad, okay? I'm sorry. I admit I was wrong. It was very nice talking to you, TJ. Thanks. Uh, see ya. TJ, you're so freaking cute. Stop. Don't stop being cute, alright? Sorry, I thought the worst, Toad. You're not a bad guy. You are a liar. But I suppose you did it because you had to. So I'll be I honest, Bigby. That. I don't really know how to feel about what happened in there. We got what we came for. Some information. It'll be all right. I swear, my first playthrough freaking makes me seem like such so a dick. So the prince is now? Lawrence is. Yeah. It's our best lead. Our only lead, really. When you put it that way. Maybe if I didn't smack him around a bit, I wouldn't have saw the blood coming out of his head, so... I don't want to stay here any longer than we have to, so let's just pick an approach and stick to it, okay? An approach? Just humor me. We're here to question Lawrence. Bump him up on the suspect list, or cross him off entirely. Okay. What is it? I just... I just don't think he did it. In cases like these, isn't it usually the husband? For Mundy's, maybe. But this is different. Ah. Alright, guys. I'm gonna end it here. But, I will be... playing more of this. So... When we come back on the next video, we will be questioning Mr. Lawrence, Mr. Prince Lawrence, and see if it was indeed him who killed Faith. I don't think it is. I think he's dead, and there's a fancy blade there, and that's just my assumption. I don't know. I could be wrong. I also assumed the worst with Toad, and I was wrong there. And it made me just look, up, look like a big, huge dick in front of his son. So, TJ is awesome, by the way and buffkin we can take that we can take those away from this episode if anything those two people are awesome characters i freaking love them and toad is actually not a bad guy he was protecting his son the entire time and yeah i had to get forceful with him um and i kind of regret it but anyways guys um, please like and subscribe if you want to see more from me, um, to know when I upload another video, and I will see you next time. Alright guys, adios.